Hi, and welcome back to part two of Sinorama Skokie's online tutorial for how to design, upload, and purchase a banner stand using our online sign designer tool. In this tutorial, we will learn how to add text, we will learn how to add graphics, and we will also learn how to add background color. So, the first thing we're going to do is start off by adding our images to our selection. Now for the sake of this tutorial we're going to add all of our images onto our canvas and then later on we'll spread them out onto the banner. You don't have to do that but for the purpose of speeding up this tutorial I'm going to go ahead and upload all of the images onto my canvas now starting out by pressing the upload image button. Then I will go ahead and select browse I will then navigate to where my files are, where my images are. I know they're in my D drive. And I'll just start off with the agent's photo first. I'll select open, upload. It takes just a second and there you'll notice that my first image automatically uploads itself smack dab in the middle of our banner. Okay, and we're back. And now as you'll see, we have all of our images uploaded onto our canvas. Hopefully you've taken the time and you've picked out the images that you want to use. Now the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and start placing my images in their proper area on the banner. But before I do that, I think maybe even adding a background might be appropriate. So to add a background, you go up here and you click text. You put in a period, and that'll tell them that will tell the program that you actually don't want to add text. You just want to add a colored background. So it'll take a second. It'll design what you asked for. You can see our black background right here now. Let's go with something not black. How about we go for a red? Why not? So it'll take its time for a second there. It'll adjust the color. And maybe we don't want that red background on the whole thing. Maybe we just wanted to take up a portion of it just to give it a little bit more dimension. So we'll put it about right there. And you can be as exact as you need to be for your text. But just for this example, we don't have to be spot on. So now that we have our background there, we'll go ahead, we'll grab our first image, and we'll slide it right in there. Now you can see it's actually positioned below. Uh, our background layer. We want to bring that up on top so we'll just push it forward and it looks like no, it's still behind. There we go. Now it has snapped forward and you'll notice that it jumped in front of anything that was red that was previously in front of it. Good. So we're all set. Okay, now let's go ahead and place our other images. We have this picture here. Oh, you can see it's going behind the red as well. Push it up front. There we go. Now it's on top of our red background. We'll place the image. Let's bring that one more step in front. Very good. Great. Grab our next image here. We'll place it. A couple steps forward. About right there should be good. And we'll place this third image about right there, but again we have to bring it forward. Now you'll notice that all of these images, they layer from newest to oldest. So the, the things that we brought in earlier will have automatically be set to be placed behind the things behind it. So we can go ahead and put that right about there. Now this does look a little bit cluttery, but for the case of example, I think it should be fine. We'll go ahead and just add a little text. So we'll go ahead and uh, click Add Text. And we'll put uh, Buy Low, Sell High. And then we'll just go ahead and uppercase that low, that L. 
click OK. We get our text. It appears right in the middle, just as all other text does. We will bold it right away. Uh, we'll give it some more size. Well, first let's kind of set it where we want it. Now it looks okay. Uh, what might bring it out a little bit more would be a some sort of background behind it. So maybe we'll just give it an all white background right underneath it. Um, so we will go ahead and click add text one more time, put in our period, hit OK. And I actually like the idea of using a white background behind that. So we're going to stick with our white, change the color, white. That's done. We're going to take it one level back. We're going to slide it down. It should slide right underneath our buy low, sell high. That's perfect. And we're almost done. Right about there looks great. Bring that down just a smidge. Bring the background behind it down just a smidge. And there it is. That's our graphic. So right now we can take this. We can go ahead and click Add to Cart. And you'll see underneath Add to Cart it says Email here. You could also use that to email any unfinished images you have to yourself uh, if you want to continue on editing them at a later time. For our purposes, we're just going to go ahead and, and save this as it is. And now once again we have the option to make any final selections that we would need uh, to complete our banner. Um, we have several options here like you can add a poll, you can add artwork where we design it here for you at Cinerama. You can put it on a, a chloroplast background, uh, 4 millimeter or 10 millimeter. You can also put it on anti-curl material. It all really just depends on what your application is going to be used for. You can also choose quantity. We do give discounts for quantity for this selection. We'll just use one. We'll hit add to cart. If you wanted to keep working on it, you would just hit Customize. You'd go right back to your image and keep working on it. So thank you so much for joining us for today's tutorial for how to design, upload, and purchase a banner and banner stand. We hope you've learned something, and we look forward to our next tutorial. We hope you'll join us here at Sinoramaskokie.com. If you have any questions or if you would like to purchase a banner of any sort, please feel free to give us a call or visit us online at www.sinoramaskokie.com. Bye-bye.